Hey, so this is Apple's latest OS for the Mac and it's called Mac OS Sonoma. Now this update came out not too long ago, but I actually wanted to talk to you guys about what's new here and what my favorite features are with Apple's latest Mac operating system. So let's start this off with the lock screen and the desktop, because this is where I actually saw the biggest change here with the latest update in terms of looks. So with Mac OS Sonoma, we now have a lock screen that looks somewhat identical to iOS and iPad OS with the date and time in the middle of your display so that you can see more of your wallpaper paper. And what's awesome here is that if you applied one of Apple's newest wallpapers, the ones that have the play button icon, uh, you'll see the wallpaper move or play in the background like the screensavers. And if you notice, if you're in your lock screen and once you're ready to log into your desktop, you'll see that subtle animation from the lock screen to your desktop and the screensaver will suddenly stop and turn into your wallpaper. It's super sleek and I love how Apple implemented such a low key yet cool feature here on the lock screen and your desktop. And while we're here on the desktop, two new things that I love that they added here on Mac OS Sonoma is the ability to just click anywhere on an empty space on a desktop and have all my open windows suddenly disappear so I can see my desktop and then I can grab files from there and drop it into whatever application. Now in previous versions of Mac OS, uh, whenever I set up a new Mac, I actually have to set up hot corner so that the upper right side of the screen activates mission control and the lower left of my screen activates uh, the show desktop function. Here it's on by default so that whenever you click on an empty space, it'll just show you your desktop, which is really neat. Now, the next thing that they added here is the ability to add widgets to the desktop. Now, in previous versions of Mac OS, you can only see your widgets on the right side of the display when you click on the date and time to see your notifications. Uh, but here with Mac OS Sonoma, you can add whatever widget is available on your Mac and iOS device and have it out on the desktop for quick access. So for me, I already have mine set up. So I have a photo widget at the top that I actually have set up on my iPhone, which syncs to my Mac thanks to continuity. I also have have my YouTube subscriber counter here as well, which if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so. I also have my to-do list here, uh, my Apple HomeKit widget with all my lights and scenes readily available, a weather widget, uh, my Tesla widget, again, for my iOS device, thanks to continuity, and my calendar scheduled for the next couple of days. Now, to me, this is huge because I actually find these to be extremely useful, uh, especially for HomeKit. If I'm working on my Mac and I wanna be able to turn off the lights without reaching for you know, my iPhone or my iPad, I can do it right away without grabbing my phone or my tablet. Now, the third thing that I love Apple's pushing for with Sonoma is gaming and specifically game mode. Now, game mode basically prioritizes the performance of your game for smoother, more consistent frame rates and improved in-game responsiveness. And it does this in the background automatically. So as long as you're playing your games in full screen mode, uh, you'll have this automatically enabled. Now, one thing to note though, is that this only works on Macs with Apple's own silicon chips. So if you have an M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, or the M2, M2 Pro, M2 Max, and M2 Ultra chips. So long as you're running Apple Silicon Mac, once you update to Sonoma and play a game in full screen mode, uh, game mode's gonna work automatically right away. Now, game mode's not gonna give you a huge performance boost, but enough boost to get a game to push out an extra 10 to 20 frames per second, which honestly makes a big difference, especially if it's consistent. And just like the optimization in gaming, you wanna make sure that your Mac is running in tip top condition, but also have enough space to install Mac OS Sonoma. And the app that I use to make sure that my Macs always optimize is Clean My Mac X, which is the sponsor for today's video. Now with Clean My Mac X, you can use its smart scan feature to do three things in one single click of a button. And that's to clean up your Mac of any unnecessary junk files to clear up storage. Uh, you can scan your Mac for any malware and then remove it, as well as speed up your Mac by optimizing apps in the background. And this only takes a few minutes to do, which is awesome. Now with Clean My Mac X, you can also get this menu bar widget that pops down from the menu bar, which shows you a ton of helpful information about your Mac's health, like how much memory you have left, uh, how much storage you have, what devices are connected to your Mac, but it'll also give you recommendations to run a deep scan or clean up more storage if it notices that you may have some more big files you can delete to free up more storage. Uh, if you wanna try it for yourself, Clean My Mac X is giving you guys a seven day free trial and if you end up liking it, I'm gonna give you guys a 20% discount by using the first link in the description below. Again, big thanks to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring a portion of this video. Okay, so if you're the type of person who's still hopping on video calls left and right, this update that they gave users for video calls are actually pretty neat. So whenever you're in a video call, you now get this green camera button on your menu bar, which allows you to do a couple of things to your video. 
Now, apps like Zoom or Teams or your actual webcam will actually have this first feature built into their app. But the fact that this setting is universal means it works on almost every app that has access to your camera. But basically with Mac OS Sonoma, you can now enable portrait mode, which basically blurs out your background so that the focus is more on you and less on your background. But you can also add portrait lighting, which is super neat. So, you know, in case you don't have enough light and you can even adjust the intensity of these two settings, which is pretty cool. But the last thing that they added here is the ability to add reactions to your videos. So if you throw up a peace sign, for example, balloons will start popping up in frame in front of you and behind you. If you make a heart shape with your hands, you'll see a bunch of red hearts pop up. Or if you throw up a thumbs up or thumbs down, there's also gonna be a thumbs up or thumbs down icon that'll pop up next to you. I think it's a nice party trick that adds a little bit of production value to your video calls. And yeah, that's pretty much it with Mac OS Sonoma. I wouldn't say it's a major UI overhaul, but the little things that they added to make your Mac experience a little bit more fun and a little bit more exciting is definitely welcome. Plus we've got new Macs to look forward to, which we'll definitely cover here on the channel that'll have Mac OS Sonoma pre-installed. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.